Hello, welcome back. It's the results of the quiz from yesterday. Uh, well, I'm from earlier today. Sorry, I'm getting very confused with dates. Right then, uh, if you didn't do the quiz in yesterday's episode, pause now, quickly go back. Time for the results of the quiz. Uh, who is the first club captain at Salford? The correct answer it was Chris Lynch. Uh, he was a right back, centre back, I think. Uh, he still plays for Salford in real life right now. Uh, we, we bought Jeff Thomas from Wrexham. Did you get that right? Well done. Uh, our top goal scorer, 50 goals, is Gareth Seddon. Still Gareth Seddon. Scored uh, scored across the first three seasons and it's yet to be beaten. Hitchcock, Aluko, and Harp. Still not quite there, so Gareth said the correct answer. Uh, Millwall was our first team we, we drew in the third round draw, and interestingly, we have that draw today. Oh, it's, it's, it's sort of such good planning. I, I, I don't know. It's just, just lucky. And the answer to the things can only get, what was the next word? The correct answer is Weber. For everyone that put better, you should know better. So, uh, yes, they're the answers to the quiz. Uh, did you enjoy the quiz? Brilliant. Jovina and John. We won't see that again. Uh, right then, we'll see you, see you after the intro. Bye. Welcome back, it's me. I feel like I did that was like kids TV, wasn't it? Hello, welcome back. Uh yeah, we've got the FA Cup third round draw. We've got two games coming up uh, against Bristol. And actually after we play that game, we would have done a half. Uh, in terms of we would have done half of the league season and we'll see where we can uh, end up. I'll just quickly run you through the results recently. Uh, the last time we met was the one one draw against Derby, of course. Uh since then, a loss against Crystal Palace, a draw against uh, Birmingham, a two one win against Huddersfield, in which David Harkin scored. He's slowly getting better. He's been shooted by um by Kinsella and his determination will hopefully match uh, that of Kinsella's he's, he's very slowly growing just not as quick as I would probably like a few people have pointed out our facilities aren't very good alright clever clogs yes that's true I didn't bear that in mind uh, and then a 2-1 defeat to Leicester who are actually below us in the lead table so that is a bit of a crushing defeat so yeah two wins out of the last sort of 15 or so games not great anyway third round draw let's see who we get right so here we are then uh, hopefully I won't do the double click but as you know if you play a film it kind of freezes on the click it's difficult to know uh, because we're in the championship of course we don't have to go through any qualifying for the first time which is good because it's a bother uh, it's still like a big away game because obviously the revenue generated brilliant we're at home um i don't know any big teams left in it liverpool united still there not many others west ham amongst a couple of others there right and we get boom oldham in league two well actually I say that negatively, we might get through in the FA Cup, which would be the first time to the fourth round ever. Uh, so Oldham are the team we're going to face. Uh, any other big draws in there? No, not really. Well, United, Watford, not too bad. Oh, Fylde doing in there against OK Dons. Well done to them. Uh, so yeah, there we are then. We are uh, playing Oldham, and we'll bring you that next episode. I'm sure that, that makes sense for us. Yeah, Salford versus Oldham. What a thriller. I like the fact that there's a team we can probably beat. Anyway, uh, we've got Bristol and Rotherham coming up, as you can see there. So we'll, uh, we'll quickly move forward to the Bristol game, and hopefully two wins. Although, let's not hold our breath. You never know. Very organised start to the start of the episode. We've done the results of the quiz and the, the draw's been done. Ooh, I, feel, I feel almost professional. Wait, did I press record? That's a funny thing to say. Never mind. <laughs> oh, dear. Right, uh, before we, I show you the team today, I've changed the formation again. It keeps happening. Um, this is what we're going to play today, though. Ready? Three, two, one. There it is. Uh, oh, the fire's suspended. Brilliant. So Anya's going to have to come in. Um, so we've got quite a few injuries, it should be noted. Uh, the fire is, is suspended. We've got Watts, Hall, and Hughes is out on loan, but injured as well. Uh, Tano and Willock also out on loan. We're now playing this formation. It's a four at the back with one sat in front, which is Nash. He does a very good job there, actually. Harrop being our central midfielder. Uh, actually, we want to play Nash more centrally. Thomas on the right side. Danda just in front. Harkin. I'm just starting him because I feel like, right, chances are... We might not go down. Uh, Kinsella has been injured recently, so I haven't been able to play him. So I've just been playing Harkin as an inside forward on that left-hand side. Why not? We're actually going to bring Rob Wellington into the team due to fitness. Uh, and we're also going to bring Ollie Lawson to play up front instead of the heart for today's game. So that's the squad for the day. Uh, for the day. Hopefully, we can come out of this game with a win. Bristol Rovers are the opposition. And I realise that it's actually tomorrow. So we'll just wait. Bristol Rovers, of course, the side that had Comrade Gempf. Right then, I've, I've run you through the team. Hopefully it goes... Actually, Harrop should be changed. We'll play him as a deep line playmaker. Yeah, sure, why not? Uh, so let's hope for a win against Bristol Rovers. We're favourites for the game, which, based on what I've seen, we could both move up to 13th. 
interesting. Or it's like the game you've been waiting for. Which team will end up 13th? Find out right now. They're playing a very, a very standard 4-4-2. Okie doke. Right, here it is then. Salford versus Bristol Rovers in what should, is set to be a Titanic clash for 13th place. It's as good as a trophy in many ways. Speaking of trophies, won this in a raffle. Have I mentioned it? Oh, yes. I have mentioned it a few times. Right, come on then, boys. Uh, let's let's try to go for a win. We've, got, we've gone to the four at the back, uh, so we're a little bit more stable. And really, I'm saying to Harkin, I'm saying, look, do whatever you want, mate. Just do whatever you want. And two games here, we scored. So... That's working. That's a, that's risky. Oh no! Uh, they're coming forward with it. I, I said that, and they went immediately backwards. They're mocking me. I'm concerned that we're not. Oh dear! We're we're, we're a bit now. That defending there. I'm not. I don't want to slag off our back four there. But that was proper crap, wasn't it? That was awful. I just wanted you to keep an eye on every defender, essentially, because that wasn't good. Both with Jackson gets pulled in. I mean, they, they flick it out wide. It gets a free cross in. We then don't mark that guy. Francis Henry's going, can we try and defend, please? Oh, sacre bleu. It's actually what he's saying, because he's French, isn't it? I assume that's what he'd say. I just... Is that stereotypical? Chance again. They're, they're, this, aren't, mm. this this formation might not... Well, he's caught it, so there's that. This formation might not work. I don't know. I'm just... Trial and error. Piss in December. I'm doing trial and error in December. How are we 17th without... I, that, that system. Ball's played forward. Harkin onto it. Harkin. Oh, is it, well, it's a shot on goal, saved by the goalkeeper, but uh, a bit of intent at last. And you're back in the side today. Plays it to Henri. Uh, at least Henry's going to be nice and quick at the back there if, if we get any problems caused. Harrow up with it. Wellington now. Where are we off to? The races? No, Henry. Is Henry or Henry? It's going to change throughout the series. I can't help it. It's, it's spelled the same, isn't it? Harrow up with it now. Ball out. Both with Jackson getting forward on this left hand side. Plays it back to Harkin. Is he going to shoot or is he going to, is he going to pass it? Gives it to Wellington. Gives it back out to both with Jackson. So good sustained pressure here from us. Can we get the ball into the middle though? Nash on the edge of the box. Not known for his long, long shots. Lawson takes on his man, maybe. Oh, lovely finish. Lovely team goal, in fact. And Ollie Lawson finishes it, as, uh, finishes it off as 11th goal of the season. And it's 1 1. And we're back in the game. Good stuff. You can see here, Lawson turns his man. You think, well, that the angle's tight. Can you do it from there? And he certainly can do. The Salford crowd behind the goal go wild. Right, we might as well make this a bit smaller. Uh, this is like this is our sort of new. This is this is like the promotion race, but it's like the relegation race. Who's going to go down? Oh, hopefully Swansea. Then we can easily get Macaulay Kid. <laughs> right, half time, one one. Um, since our goal, really nothing else happened. So we'll just go straight back into the second half. Come on, then, boys. Let's, 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 do this please can we get some victories on the on the cards you'd like that wouldn't you viewers if we just started winning matches just keep winning matches rather than this sort of lower to mid table mediocrity there's 13th place off a stake here gentlemen there we are there's, there's the words to inspire a generation do you want to be 13th or not i actually think if we score here we don't even go to 13th right potentially a chance harrop with it we've kept the same formation actually and we we're, we're uh, i was gonna say we we're adapting nicely and then we've given it away in a in an area where you can't really afford to give it away as they come forward again players being dragged out of position and you know with a great stop and now jeff thomas maybe maybe a counter-attack to their counter-attack who knows wellington with it uh, plays it inside to harrop forward to Lawson well ball there Dominic Ball has gone straight through the man we didn't take the, the ball did not take the ball ironically enough and now the referee's having a word and the result is a second yellow card and he's been removed from the field of play the free kicks lined up by Lawson can it be a double whammy for them Lawson from this way oh my good right he should he should not be taking free kicks where is Andy Tanoi when you need him he's out on loan I've got, I've got no idea where I just I've not been in frame very well I'm so sorry everybody Right, and time's ticking down. It looks like it's going to be a 1-1. One, one. Draws have been the thing. I don't, I don't remember in previous seasons drawing anywhere as many games as we have done this season. It's a 1-1. One, one. It's weird because you feel like, well, we've not lost, but we haven't won. So, I don't know, I don't know how to feel about it. That's our ninth draw of the season. There are a few teams with 10 there. Um, but yeah, that's, we're the third highest drawers in the league so far. Well, what a picture. Because <laughs> we've been... Next game, shall we? Rotherham. Uh, and at the halfway stage then, 27 points. We are clear of the bottom three. So relegation, not an immediate concern. Five points from that, that area. And um, quite a way off the playoffs there. That, that seems like an unambitious target. But oh, no, nine points away. If you can get a run going in the championship, anything can happen. And like a win against Rotherham, and all of a sudden in 14th, you don't look as bad, do you? So, into the next game, Rotherham the opposition. Right then, welcome back. Uh, André Pierre-Gignac who you might know is the French striker, who's now the manager of Anders SCO, is annoyed that Renard's not playing. Now, it's difficult for me because Lawson's just scored, but Gignac's a fine human, 
so I'm going to change it up for one game only because he's requested it essentially. I'm going to bring Billy not into the centre of the pitch. He's going to make her. He's going to replace him at the back. Uh, we'll also bring. We'll take Anya out, put the fire in. Hopefully, uh, our, our back line. Like, our back line looks pretty strong there. It's it's the midfield which is an issue. I think in January, if we're going to make one move, it's going to be getting a ball and a midfielder in to sit in front of the back four. Jim Nash is like he's a, he's a very capable player in that position. Uh, he's just not natural there, and I think that's part of the problem. So let's hope for another win. Rotherham on the horizon. Uh, let's take them down. It's it's in three hours time, but okay, okay, not literally. Right, uh, that's the team for today. It's a little bit tired. It's fair to say. Kinsella's actually working his way back into the side, so we're going to play him instead. Uh, so we've got Henri, the fire, Deji, uh, Borthwick, Jackson, Nash, not Thomas, Wellington, Kinsella, and Renard. Uh, I don't know why I said it in that French accent, but yeah, he's got three goals in five starts, so. He's certainly capable. Will he score a hat-trick today and keep his place in the side? Uh, Rotherham are the favourites, but we go into this with high spirits. Will Keane up front for Rotherham, so that's going to be fun. They also have Carlos Gill and John Bostock. They've got, got some decent players. Uh, I wish they didn't. I wish they didn't have decent players. I do believe we started the season against Rotherham, so that was a 1-1, if my memory serves correct. Can we get them today? Uh, they're currently lying in 11th place, and we can get right behind them with a win. I'm gonna I'm gonna guess it's gonna be a draw, viewers. I'm guessing draw because it seems to always be a draw. Half an hour gone. Uh, it's been. Oh, I'll tell you what, you've missed so much action. You've got no idea. Ah, now Renard has picked up a knock. I don't know if Gignac will be will be okay with that. It's like it's not my fault. As Henri goes down this right hand side, ball into the middle. Kinsella's there. Well. He's back from injury, and he's got the goal, the ball in from Henri. Jeff Thomas not getting as many assists this season, but Henri on that right-hand side doing the job Jeff Thomas doesn't do this season, apparently. It's 1-0 Salford. You can see here, Wellington slips it through, and on the over... Like, like, when well, you've got a player as good as him, on the overlap, you can't not play him, really. Kinsella fires in, and the crowd, as ever, behind the goal, go wild. A half-time may well be a striking change as Renard has picked up this knock. Potential thigh injury. Oh, dear, that sounds... Awful. Uh, that is annoying. Uh, I think we're going to take him off, though. For that, we've got three. We've got three strikers, two winger. I mean, if a defender gets injured, we're in trouble. Okay, we're going to bring on. Going to bring the half on. I don't. I just love him. I just don't want. To, I don't want him to feel like I don't love him as much, just because we're in the championship now. I don't want him to start thinking I'm big time, because you know he, he got his hair back. So. Come on. Second half. Rotherham are going to get a paste in. Oh, Jeff Thomas is through. It's a kick from Keane. Thomas! Jeff Thomas has scored a goal! It's a, it's a miracle. It's his second of the season. He scored one internationally. And now he's got one for us. The football, you'll see from the 3D replay. I didn't commentate it because it just looked like a generic... Um, Goal kick, but you can see here, Keane fires it over the top. The defender misses the header. Jeff Thomas races through on goal, and you think you've seen him in this position before, but this time, he finishes it lovely. There it is then. 2-0. Yes! Lovely old stuff. Jeff Thomas, he's not, wasn't getting the assist, and I was giving him a bit of grief earlier, but goals are his thing. Apparently, that's his thing now. I like how wide these two stay. It does leave us a little bit exposed. Ah, I wish they were closer. Fire! The fire! Oh, God, okay, I thought he was going to foul him. I do like, though, how wide they stay. When we attack and actually get the ball, it works quite nicely. I will say, though, when we give it away in the midfield stupidly, it does leave us very exposed, but it's the risk I take. Do we look for the overlap? We're going to stop hitting crosses early and start looking for the overlap, I think. Right, time's ticked down. I've not made any sort of... I've made one substitution at half time, but aside from that, and there it is. 2-0 Salford. We've beaten Rotherham, which shows we've grown as a team over time and i think that's a good result uh good a win as well it's something that isn't happening all that re all that recently uh but yes a win for us seven wins this season nine draws eight losses 30 points after 24 games it ain't bad you know it ain't bad it could be a lot worse so that does indeed bring us to the end of the episode if you did enjoy a double upload day then do leave a like if you want to see more subscribe to the channel let's aim for that the thousand like goal i love can i just say I, i'm gonna a little bit of personal here i I'm so grateful that I can even say that. I can't believe I can say that and like we hit it almost every time. It's incredible to me. So thank you so much for the support. I do mean that very humbly. I know these videos are quite funny and I do, I do I make some jokes occasionally, but in the serious side of it, I do massively appreciate it. So thank you so much for the support. And uh, yeah, every day you seem to be loving this. So it's going to keep coming for as long as you're enjoying it. So um, yes, we love with care. For me, Dr. Benji, until next time, I'll see you again very soon. Goodbye. Humble Ben, see? It's not always just joke, 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 joke.